Hello, fishy folks. Happy Water Change Wednesday. Let's talk guppy fish. Alright, fishy folks, we're talking guppies. Guppy fish. Guppies spelled with a Y? I don't know. But guppies. Hopefully you can see this tank. This is my bluegrass tank. And there are a ton of fry. There's like about 129 of them. I counted. Um, this is the largest batch that have been dropped. I don't even know if that's proper English, so sorry. But this is the largest batch that uh, of fry that I have in one at one time. Uh, I believe they were born last night because I don't remember seeing them yesterday. <clears> or <throat> oh, last night when I fed them. So uh, there's a couple generations in here. I think three or four generations. But just the history of this tank and actually the tank next to it. Yeah, you don't want to see the bulkhead. So this is a blue grass guppy. You can see with the big delta tail, barely swimming, but that's how they are. And some a pretty plump squared off female next to him that it looks like he wants to eat some fry from because they're so tender and delicious. Um, anyway, these blue grass guppies and these black panda guppies I got from Corey at Aquarium Co-op. You know, I'm going to adjust the light here because it'll be better. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Uh, I got them from Corey at Aquarium Co-op. Uh, when he first put fish for sale on his website, I was in a... I think I've told this story, but for those new subscribers or those that don't remember or didn't watch that video, I was in an airport in Toronto, Canada, uh, coming home from a business trip. I think it was a Friday morning. And I saw a video that said he had fish for sale on the website and I immediately went to his website and ordered a pair of black pandas and a pair of bluegrass guppies and they were actually the most expensive fish I ever purchased and I purchased them online. <clears throat> but I trusted in that Corey would be able to ship great fish to me and of course he did. I did an unboxing of those fish uh, video and I'll put a link somewhere probably at the bottom maybe a, a card up here uh, for you guys to check that out but back to guppy fish so now uh, Corey was spectacular in the shipping of course and uh, I wish he still shipped fish but um, me selling fish now I understand why he's not quick story about selling fish I do sell my fish to local fish stores I've branched out from my one local fish store that I am very faithful to, but uh, he doesn't typically pay what I would really want for most of my stuff, so I've reached out to a few other local fish stores and a few not so local fish stores, and we'll see what comes of that. Uh, I've also started selling these fish on Facebook, uh, and I will be doing Craigslist probably this weekend. And the problem is people say they want fish and then they can't work out when to get them. So that's that's that. Anywho, let's talk about guppies. Uh, black panda guppies, they have a sort of a roundish tail. Uh, the males, in all guppies, the males are smaller than the females. And in most cases, the males look nicer than the females. Completely opposite of humans. Anyway, uh, these black pandas tend to stay a little smaller than some of the other varieties that I keep. Um, you can see a lot of fry here now. Uh, these are the bluegrass again. These females get quite large. Uh, that male is full size, so you can see how big he gets. Just chilling back there. Um, let's talk about guppy care, right? A wide variety of water parameters will work, but as as like other fish, they like clean water. No ammonia, no nitrites. I would say under 40 nitrates, uh, that's up to you. I've heard, you know, I've heard people say under 20, you know, as low as possible, under 80. I go with the under 40, that's what I've done for years. You know, before I was uh, 
an experienced fish keeper, I would check and, you know, it was at 80 and I would change water and it would be at 40. And, you know, fish were fine. No breeding or very little breeding back then, but I wasn't really breeding for profit then. I was just keeping fish. The moral of the story is clean water will help breed fish. What about feeding? Well, when you breed guppies, especially for profit, you want a high protein food at a low cost. And that typically means flake food. My guppies will readily take flake food and I feed a variety of flake food from New Life Spectrum, Kobo Aquatics. Uh, I recently tried Ocean Nutrition. It's Ocean Nutrition. Uh, Formula One, which has 56% Protein. In fact, let's get it. Hold yeah. on. Ocean Nutrition Formula One Flakes. Premium food for all tropical fish. 55% crude protein. Look at the ingredients. So this is a little uh, strange because the first ingredient is wheat gluten, which fish don't really need nor eat. But then salmon and fish meal. So the ingredients aren't as great as some of the other ones I feed, but it's got a high protein content. And uh, Colin from uh, my local fish store is the one that turned me on to this. He breeds cichlids, Africans, and uh, some of the big ones, big South Americans. <laughs> and uh, he swears by this stuff for growth. So we're giving it a shot. All right, let's talk more about right, you folks. Before we talk more about cuppies, just want to let you know I will have a link in the description. If you're interested in buying this delicious Ocean Nutritious Formula One Flake, 55% protein, I'll put a link to my Amazon associate store for you to check it out. All right, let's talk about guppies, shall we? These guys, I think, are PetSmart or Petco specials. Just regular fancies. Sorry about the glare. Um, the story about these is a friend of mine has a, I think, a 20-gallon tank in his office and uh, his home office and he had a couple guppies and some quarries you know a typical community tank and the guppies had babies and uh, his daughter who actually is an adult 17 well almost an adult I guess saw the guppies being chased the babies being chased and eaten she got upset so he asked if I would take all the babies so these are all the babies that survived um, I did have an ammonia spike in the tank that they were in and I lost half of them. I think there's four males and four females. There are frying here, hiding up up in this uh, water wisteria. Um, but they really haven't bred like I've wanted them to. I mean, they're pretty nice looking guppies. You know, they have that nice long dorsal, big fan tail. Even the females have some color to them, so. We'll see what happens. These are my green cobras, and you can see there's a lot of red coming out. Uh, which I'm gonna be separating those to, to make the red cobra line. Uh, but there's a ton of fry. They're very prolific uh, parents. <laughs> they uh, drop lots of fry. I've sold probably 30, 30 fish out of here. I've had this line I don't know eight nine months and in the very beginning there it was very slow spawning and growth but I mean they are some gorgeous fish as far as guppies go I like the Cobra pattern I like the big Delta tail it's not a huge Delta tail it's just a little bit of a triangle if you will uh, again many many different speed nah, many different uh, batches of fry different sizes but you can see in all my uh, guppy tanks, when I breed guppies, it's simply java moss or some other floating plant and a sponge filter, and that's it. <clears throat> I don't do breeding boxes. Um, I don't, you know, pull the female, put her in another tank. That's too much work. Green, uh, yellow cobras. Got these at the same time as the green cobras. You can see how huge she is. Any second she's gonna drop about a thousand fry. But uh, again, Sponge filter, lots of uh, java moss, and that's it. And the fry, what they do is the, the, the mom will go into the guppy grass at night, 
not the guppy grass, the uh, Java moss at night. Drop her batch of fry. Hopefully, if the males and the other other fish in the uh, tank don't see them, and then the fry will hide out in the moss, eat off the moss, the little microorganisms on the moss, uh, until they're big enough to come out, and hopefully they're fast enough that they don't get eaten. Uh, you can see this guy chasing the female. He knows she's about ready to drop fry, and like I said with the bluegrass, they are delicious and tender, apparently. Uh, you see he's got some red in his tail. He's a good looking fish. Here are some more green cobras. I did separate the strain. I, I sort of took most of the dark green. Uh, it was showing the most green. Of course, everything looks green because of the algae buildup on the wall. As you know, I don't really care. Um, it's good for them. They can eat off the algae. The fry can eat. Even the adults can eat off the algae if they want. But So anyway, I took most of the dark, the darker males and females females with big tails and put them in this tank to try to work on that line. I don't selectively breed uh, very well. I don't put as much effort into it as you know other people do but um, just as an example I have those red brick swords and they came from the velvet red and red wag sword so. All right the females in this tank are blue diamonds. I bought the blue diamonds at the same time and there's a green cobra I gotta get her out. We've talked about that before I think. Oh well. Um, blue diamonds. I bought the blue diamonds the same time as the yellow and green cobras and I lost all the males. So these are just females and I have that male from the PetSmart tank because he's blue. He's got nice vintage. I haven't seen Fry in, Fry in here though. I put him in well over a month ago and I haven't seen Fry yet so I don't know what's going on. But to be honest, there could be fry in there, and I just don't know it, but I doubt it. I doubt it. All right. A couple more guppy tanks. We've got the mostly German red tux guppies, and they're called that because you can see some of the, the ones have that black and then the colorful tail. Um, but there's a lot of other stuff in here, too. Almost a mutt tank. Um... I like these ones with the black really dark and then you can see there's a female right there. I'm going to separate those out. Actually, I'm going to separate those out and put them in that tank up there, I think. Um, and try to get that line going. I had a line like that and I sold it off. Um, basically from the same colony, I just started taking the ones with the, especially the females with the more black towards their back. I think it's called the coddle. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Anyway. Uh, to try to get more of that those traits coming out you can see there's a snake skin a red snake skin in there um, and that happens sometimes you know you never know this tank up here is from the same colony but I had these these really nice males with the lower sword so there is one I think I think there's one more at least there was one more I don't know if he's still in there I don't remember if he died or not but we're trying to trying to bring that gene out so we'll see what happens there's a ton of fry in here again java moss and a sponge filter i hope there's a sponge filter <laughs> uh endler live bearers i guess they're kind of like guppies right same thing very prolific breeders uh many different Many different genes in this tank. You got the double sword green cobra, which is just phenomenal looking. You have the the um, black bar endler, and there's a green cobra female in there, just for some more genetics. And we'll see what happens. All right, guys, one more guppy tank. And it's way over here, and it's my mutt tank. And I should have put a light on it because you can't really see anything. Let's move this out of the way. So this is some of the uh, German red tuxes and the mutts from that tank. And if I had, you know, an extra male or a female that didn't have anyone to go with, I just threw them in here. Um, we call these fancy guppies, but really they're just mutts. And unfortunately, my local fish store doesn't really do just fancy guppies. Um, he likes to have strains, but I do sell them pretty cheap. 
locally and hopefully other local fish stores that I've reached out to will want them as a cheap alternative to, you know, harder to get strains. As an example, I would sell these uh, to my local fish store easily at 50 cents each. Alright folks, there you have my guppies. I'm always looking for new guppy strains, healthy guppy strains. Uh, if anyone's local and has different guppy strains they want to trade or they want to buy some of mine <clears throat> or have some for sale, please let me know. Again, I'm in South Jersey, so anywhere in New Jersey, uh, Southeastern Pennsylvania, Delaware, that kind of thing, let me know. Just let me know what you got. I'll be interested. So in closing, guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button maybe even subscribe it does help me and help the channel out and uh, you know you could share it on Facebook if you want or reddit um, also you know if you want to buy any of the food I talked about I'll have links in the description below for you you go to Amazon and buy them and I make like 3% so virtually nothing but it does every little bit helps and I really appreciate it guys so hope everyone has a great water change Wednesday also known as Hump Day. And uh, we'll see you guys on Fry, 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 Friday. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry, 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 Friday. Today we're going to have sort of a day in the life. Um, yeah. Maybe a day in the life of a small of a guy with a small fish room in his basement? No, that's kind of creepy, isn't it? Maybe a day in the life of a fish room guy? No. I don't know. We'll see. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy FFF Fry Fry Friday. Today we're going to talk about sort of kind of what I do. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fishy Folk Fry Fry Friday. That's 5S for you. 5F day. That could be taken the wrong way, couldn't it? Anyway, we're going to talk about some stuff. Not right now, though. All right, folks. 